All right. Hello, everyone. Princess Twelve Fifteen here. Uh, something I thought I'd do, just you now to for fun, really, but also just as an experiment. I thought I'd start doing commentaries. So, uh, you know, the first one I'm going to be doing commentaries for is, well, you clicked on the video so you know what it is, but this one is for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean Jack's Dream. Now, I made this one uh, some time ago. It was a little over a year ago, it, uh, December 2012. Yes, I made this uh, for the uh, Brook filming contest that the four monkeys were hosting uh, for the Brook Rivers Guild. Uh, I entered, didn't win anything, but I did get nominated in a category for the for one of the prizes. So I didn't win, but still good. Now uh, I've always prided myself on having a good Jack Sparrow voice, so. Now that I hear this contest is happening, and I think, well, what can I? I'd like to enter. You know, it could be fun, and so I have. I didn't really have many parts. I just had one part of the Caribbean set, uh, which was the little Captain's Cabin set that I got for twenty bucks at Walt Disney World when I could have gotten it for ten bucks at Walmart. But pff, that's typical, isn't it? Uh, so I did that. Uh, I thought, well, you know. Really, the idea kind of formed uh, um, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest is on Cartoon Network, so I was just kind of watching it, and then, then I, and then I thought, well, hold on, uh, where are my minifigures? So I just cracked open the uh, this little uh, plastic case that I got from Walmart that came with a uh, small gray base plate, and, uh, and it has uh, the four ninja from Ninjago on the front of it, green. T tub, but you know it's good for holding minifigures, and so I thought, well, what if you know, what if I take you know a bunch of different Jack minifigures, have them chasing him around and st uh, chasing each other around and stuff. So the idea kind of just formed from that, and so I thought, well, hold, it might be a good idea. So I just went ahead and made the video, and I think it turned out rather good. I mean, it got nominated in the category for. Uh, best brick film that contained the Brick Filmers Guild logo, and that's out of 200 something entries. So, um, yeah, I think it, I think it turned out good. And it had a, some funny moments in here, like the whole shield truck showing up, as you just saw, and and then, uh, and then the Squingeely Sparrow character. That, uh, I got that minifigure for pre-ordering Lego Parts of the Caribbean the video game and he came with uh, and he came with the video game when you ordered him when you ordered the game you didn't order him specifically and so you just kind of added on bonus and what he actually represented was uh, the uh, little uh, voodoo doll Blackbeard had in On Stranger Tides so uh, this set I think turned out really good um Kind of Minecraft-esque, in my opinion. And that's kind of how I built it because I want because the original vision I had in my head, and as it, it's written in the script, is that he's running across a cliff, and then you know, so that was actually supposed to be a rope bridge, but I did not have the skill nor the means to build something like that. So I just kind of, I thought, well, you know, the Sword Nerds production, he's always going on and on about Minecraft. And, you know, I'd seen videos and people played and stuff, so I thought, well, let's kind of build something along the lines of that, and, uh, you know, the, I think that set turned out really good. Uh, this here, this little, uh, this big boulder that Jack has inadvertently caused to start rolling, this was originally supposed to be uh, the uh, the water wheel from Dead Man's Chest, uh, because, you know, this is all happening in his mind. It's a dream. So, you know, uh, memory, I mean, that could, for all we know, that could be a traumatic experience for him, you know, being stuck in that thing. So I just thought it'd be funny uh, to put that in there. But I didn't have the water wheel set, so I made it into a boulder instead. Uh, and this, with the skeletons, this was, if any of you can remember back, uh, this was inspired by, of course, Curse of the Black Pearl, and a sequence from uh, Spy Kids 2 Island of Lost Dreams. I mean, gosh, how old is that movie now? I don't even know. I think it's older than the first Pirates movie. So, uh, but the 
hold they freeze as soon as they're holding the gen thing again like that came up from spy kids so ugh, that tell that i'm 16 so i mean that tells you how old i am i can and then the i've got a jar of dirt that was a favorite of mine so i i just include that in again i can still win no you can't we outnumber you 100 to 1 and then the kraken here that just was by um he came from uh, a Mega Block set. I know, I know, blasphemy. <laughs> but uh, he came from a Pikes of the Caribbean at World's End uh, Mega Blocks set, and I wanted it just for the Kraken. And I'm, I'm not even sure where the figures to that to that set are. I, I mean, I, I didn't burn them literally, but I, I pretty much got rid of all my Mega Blocks, which I only had that one set. But I mean, that I made sure all those bricks disappeared, so I could ju stick just with the Lego. <laughs> but uh, the swords, the sword fights. That well, this was really the only sword fight. But I, th I, it looked like it was really long and it looked pretty epic when I filmed it. But then I string it together and I look at it. And I'm like, oh, well, this is rubbish. <laughs> but I mean, it wasn't going to be. It wasn't going to be a long film anyway. It was just something I made for a contest. And uh, so I'm, I am happy with the end result. And then we've got the crack in here roaring at Jack. I recorded that from. On Stranger Tides, of course. Last time I have run before bed. And then that one got a big laugh among my family. The whole last time I have run before bed, before you know, drinking some more, falling back to sleep. And then, really, that's pretty much it. Uh, based on Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, of course. And then, as you can see, made for the Brick Filmers Guild stop motion contest. So. Overall, I had a fun time doing it. I mean, it didn't take that long. You know, it was short, sw sweet, simple. To, well, not really sweet. There were people trying to kill each other, but <laughs> but it was short. You know, it didn't take very long. Fun to do. You know, and yeah. So now every time I do something clumsy, I'm, I always hear Jack the Jack Sparrow theme in my head because I I in the process of making this, I listened. I you know bought several tracks from the movies as as I listed here in the credits and uh, and so I you know listening to these themes and then editing the whole thing yeah you know, now I'll, at moments whenever I'm clumsy or I trip over my own feet or something here bum 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 in my head and I think myself Jack Sparrow so yeah, then again I've always been at a pirates so you know, I I was I liked pirates before they were cool I'm a trendsetter <laughs> not sure if saying trendsetter makes me cool but then again I'm not really so so question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, I just made a noises for Squinchy Lee Sparrow because I wanted him to be kind of odd. And yeah, no one can understand him except the Jacks in Jack's head. So uh, yeah, that's really. And as and uh, just another note, I did I did borrow several figures from Assorted Nerds Productions and Food Inc. Since I only had the one Lego set and uh, oh, hysterical story. Um, Shortly before I moved to Missouri, uh, December 2012 was when that happened, and I still don't like it. Uh, but short, um, shortly before I moved, we were uh, at our local Walmart in Oklahoma, and I was and I was spending uh, Assorted Nerds and I were spending the night with Food Inc. that night, and so then uh, Food Inc.'s mom had to run to the grocery store to pick up some stuff, and so then and so yeah, you know, we're so we're bored, and I guess we are. You know, uh, so we were bored, you know, just walking around getting stuff from Walmart. And so she says, why don't you all run over to the toys and you know, look around at the Lego sets and stuff. So we run over there, and they, and uh, Walmart was having a sale since the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff was going to be off the shelves pretty soon. Uh, so they were trying to get rid of their sets so they could make inventory for the future, for the new summer sets coming out. So um, we get there, and the... Uh, uh, I can't remember the set's name, but it was uh, the Lego. It was the Pirates of the Caribbean set that had uh, that had uh, Jack and Gibbs. On, uh, it was from the horse chase scene in On Stranger Tides. But anyway, you know, they were. It was like a sixty dollars set or something. They had a mark for fifteen. So Swords Nerds Productions got two of them, and uh, Food Inc. got one of them, and uh, so. <laughs> And so, uh, now, uh, Food Inc. had, uh, I can't believe, uh, uh, 
boy, this is awesome old. Uh, he bought a Game Boy game from me you know, that I had from years before for like two bucks, and he hadn't given me the money yet. So he gave me a Jack, the Jack Sparrow minifigure since he, since he already had another one of those. I actually had like three of them. But the one of the hat, I did not have that one, so I just got the Captain's Cabin set. So, uh, so that's how I came across that figure, and I'm, you know, and so <laughs> that's just a funny story I like. So, uh, anyway, uh, looks like it's about over here. So, um, thanks for listening to me yammer on, and hopefully I'll do more commentaries in the future. So, uh, I'll see you then.